Kei atu ranga tira no mai fakatau mai ki te nei hotaka a uh, ko te MIT online lecture series ko Stevie Aho ko ai te kai taka wanga Māori mo MIT kai taki taha ko Gina um, ko i a te tahi atu uh, taka wanga i ko nei uh, ko tamato manuhiri uh, tamato hoa kai mahi i te ranei ko Hone ko i a te tahi o ngā uh, kai ko reo Māori mo ngā ko manga reo Māori i ko nei uh, tēnā koe Hone tēnā koe Kia ora. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to our online lecture series. Uh, today is um, a special one, so we have one of our unique programs, which is um, Te Reo Māori Languages here at the Monaco Institute of Technology. Um, like, as always, grab you something to drink, grab something to eat as well, and, and join us um, as we um, hear a bit of information about our program today by Hone. Hone, thank you so much again for your time. Thank you for being here with us and being a part of this um, kaupapa. Um, moving along and straight into our first question, Hone, please tell us a little bit bit about yourself. Ka pai, kia ora ko, uh, ko te ramaroa te maunga, uh, ko hoki anga whakapau karakia, hoki anga whakapau uh, uh, tangata tēnā koutou katoa, uh, ko ngā puhi te iwi, ko ngā te farara, ko te pauka, uh, ko ngā te korokoro ngā hapū, uh, he uri tēnei no uh, ārāhiri, uh, no opononi. Marae roa. Um, <coughs> yeah, hey, kia ora koutou. my name is Hone. I'm a, a lecturer of Te Reo Māori. I, um, I've been teaching here at MIT for about 12 months now, and <coughs> I've been teaching for about seven years um, officially um, Te Reo uh, Māori in different age grades. Right. Kia ora. Also, I. Thank you. Um, so, Please tell us about the different stories or the different programs that you teach. So the program levels, location, um, what uh, delivery hours are, and also any entry requirements that our whānau might need uh, to get into your programs. Mm -hmm. Kia ora. So uh, currently we're teaching the Level 2 program, uh, which is the introduction to Te Reo. Uh, you don't need to have, you don't need to be fluent in Te Reo to enter this program. Um, we are actually currently... We've got two classes going at, at this time, so it's two nights a week. Um, we at, at this point in time, we're teaching it online. Um, but normally, if um, you know, outside of the coronavirus um, pandemic, it would normally be at, at Otara campus near right next to the Marae. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's, it's a part time course, two nights a week, and we've got two classes going at this time. Thank you for that. Um, now that you're, well, now that you have been um, teaching online, what has that all been like for you? Yeah, it's been good. Um, it's been challenging, um, but it's been um, it's been nice to um, kind of uh, fast forward um, into the virtual world and using technology to our advantage. And yeah, there's some little things that we're working on, but it's 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 a it's a good experience and. Uh, I think the students are um, enjoying it. Cool, thank you for that. Um, so moving on to a another, um, I guess, random or fun question. Tell us one fun fact about yourself, Hone. Uh, that's a tricky one. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I'm, I don't know, I think people have a perception that I'm, I'm too serious. But one thing I've, I've, you know, if you've been around me for a little while, I'm actually, I like to have a good laugh in uh, Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if that, I don't know if that answers your question, but yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> it's always good to have a laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that, Hone. So, what's the most appealing part about your program? So I understand that there's um, many other Te Reo Māori programs in in Auckland, um, such as Te Wānango Aotearoa, Awanui Arangi. Please tell us what sets you apart from um, those programs. Mm. Um, I think the the learning environment and everything that MRT can provide for the student um, sets a good um, tone for the rest of their learning journey. Um, one thing I really love about this program, um, for me as a teacher, is to see um, the growth of the individuals who take this pre program seriously and the connection that they make to um, their identity 
and um, the spiritual uh, takeaway they take from us. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And so um, you, you can be non maori to be in this program as well? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We've got um, uh, in the last 12 months, we've had um, people from Korea, um, oh, from wow. South Africa. Um, yeah. Obviously, there'll be a lot of Maori, and that's a wonderful thing as well. And mm-hmm. so, yeah, it's good, very diverse. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, for those viewers that have been um, watching, we have been talking about the awesome diversity here at the Monaco Institute of Technology. And again, it's it's um, evident in our Te Reo Māori um, classes as well. So thank you for that, Hone. Um, so if there was a student or um, not necessarily a student, but anyone, anyone that was watching um, in the community, if they were wanting to be a part of your program, um, Te Reo Māori at um, MIT, what would you say be the traits or qualities they bring with them? Um, I think um, probably the most important thing that you need to bring with you, um, actually maybe a couple of things, um, is one is commitment. Um, you need to be able to um, stick it out um, because it's going to be challenging at times and and sometimes challenge um, makes the people want to um, flee away. But if you stay committed, you're going to make it. But another thing uh, that's very important, I, I believe, um, is a trait is in Te Reo Māori it's called Ngāko Mahaki which is um, to have a humble heart and so so you can be teachable mm-hmm. and those are the those are the people that really excel and do very well in this program. Absolutely and I can resonate with that myself because um, you know we don't like to be um, you know we don't like to be corrected yeah. um, however you have to you know if you're wrong you know, the, um, you have to be told, but I guess um, it's it's the kayako that will say it in a nice way to you, and that's the best way um, to, to learn. Um, so I agree with what you're saying in terms of um, having a humble heart and mm-hmm. being committed and also confidence, I think, myself too. Confidence is another one. So mm-hmm. thank you. <laughs> thank you, Hone. Um, so without saying any names, uh, please talk about one of the successes or the success stories from one of your um, your students that you've taught. Um, I have had one student in particular, actually there's been so many success stories, mm. um, but if I was to narrow it down to one, I would say there'd be one who's come into the course um, with little to no language at all mm. and who I thought might might do okay, you know, might 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 pass, um, but has exceeded all of my expectations and has found a spiritual connection with their ancestors, mm. and um, you know, and has really, um, and the desire was inside of her, and the the environment in which we were able to facilitate um, helped that um, desire to burn and become mm. something you know uh, really uh, impressive to see. Um, if you go to watch some mm. of their um, presentations. Mm, beautiful. So was she Māori or? Aye. Aye. Mm, nice, wow. awesome. That's beautiful. Um, can you just quickly describe, I guess, what a day um, or um, an evening looks like um, being in the classroom um, for Te Reo Māori? Yeah, so um, with our in-class, face-to-face classes, we normally start with um, the the schedule would be a uh, himene, a karakia, um, then a mihi, and then we'll have a little bit of fun phrases, and then we talk about whakatoki, which are proverbs, and then uh, we get into some sentence structures and practicing with each other, a little bit of whakafanaungatanga, and then, um, yeah, by the, we, we usually try and learn a song a week um, as well, because those always help. But, yeah, there's, there, that'll be a typical night. Um, yeah at our classes. Mm, so definitely some um, practical practical yeah. um, ways of learning in there too. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Thank you for that. Um, so you did talk about a bit of um, what the online, I guess working online um, has been like over the last couple of weeks, but what, um, I guess from working from home, um, can you please describe to us um, in one word, how has working from home been like to you or for you? Uh, how has, in one word, how has lockdown been for me? <laughs> um, <laughs> it has been. Hmm. 
one word. Or two or three. <laughs> I think one word, if I can put it, narrow it down to one word, would be reset. Mm. I, I say reset because it's, um, I was a little bit sheepish going into using technology as a means to um, teach this language. But it's mm. been able to reset the way I think and reset the way we've been able to um, perceive what education and how to engage people um, has um, played its way out. So mm. I'd say reset. Reset. Mm. I think I feel like I've done that too, Honey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So um, we're on to our final question, but I think I might throw some spanner in the works and ask you a couple more after this because I'm really intrigued about our LDL programs and LDL as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, so... Um, if you're a student out there, why would they choose uh, Te Reo at MIT? Well, first of all, they've got a fantastic teacher. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> plug it in, plug that, it in. <laughs> and I say that with all humility. And um, <laughs> um, But I think the environment um, that we set there is, is, is a very um, honest and that people might come in there with their vulnerabilities, um, but if you lay those out on the table, you'll find that you're going to be protected and you're going to be under the maru or, uh, or tēnei uh, kura. So e, e pai ana tēnei uh, kotaka mo te katoa. This is a great program for anybody who'd like to join in. Choice. Choice. Beautiful, yeah, thank you. Um, also, in terms of the content itself in, 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 of our um, do they learn um, dialects from different uh, rohe, or is it, um, or is it just Waikato Tainui, Ngāpuhi Reo? What, what type of reo are they learning here? Uh, so I think, uh, how do I answer this? I I try and teach in the most general way possible. Mm, that people might come to the program with their own words and mm. from their own iwi, and that's fine. And we, and all, 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 all I do, um, all I provide, um, are just some extra words for them, uh, extra ways of saying something. And um, yeah, we're we're pretty understanding. And yeah, he iwi he he reo Maori tene, so yeah, nui a matatini te reo, so pai tene. Oh, okay. Ooh, anything else from you, Gina? Um, who else is in the team? In the team of um, uh, lecturers um, for Te Reo Māori? Is it just you or is there quite a few? Uh, we have uh, Fire Melba. She teaches um, Yeah, she, she teaches off-site um, to a couple of different programs, um, and especially with the um, corrections um, mm -hmm. the programs in there. Uh, we have a marae team. And part of that team, some of them teach in the police, and mm. there's a te reo Māori within the police. Yeah. And we're all supportive, and we're, we're all pretty much one whānau when you come mm. to the Māori side of things. Mm. And um, how old do you um, need to be to get into this program? Oh, I don't know the official answer, but I think you have to be at least 18. 18, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, and and the hours is like from six thirty to nine thirty, or yeah. So they, it's uh, it's uh, two nights a week uh, with one online uh, conference, mm -hmm. um, but that's between five thirty and eight thirty. Okay. And, um, yeah, but that 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 is adjustable uh, to mm -hmm. the needs of the mm -hmm. of, of the whānau. If mm -hmm. another time works better, then we cater to that. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. And so flexibility is there as well. Mm. Any wānanga? Any um, on-campus wānanga? That yeah, we have wānanga. We, yep, definitely. We have one, we have one um, noho. Um, mm. so we have two noho per module. There's four modules in the okay. course. And, um, yeah, that's just a Saturday. Uh, mostly it's okay. just morning, yeah, yeah. Mm. morning up until noon here. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Mm. I think that's it from me, Gina. I think you've yeah. Yeah, yeah is there anything else you're wanting to add, Honey, or you? Uh, mihi ana ki a koutou e 
e whakatairanga ana i tō tātou hōtaka ono reira mihi ana ki a kōrua me o koutou a āhua e whakahano whakapuare ngā kua hamo ngā tangata i hihi ana ki tō tātou a reo me ngā tikanga me ngā mātauranga ke kone ki te wharetaki uro o Manukau ono reira mihi ana ki a kōrua Tēnā koe Thank you for the hearing. Um, so you've heard you've heard it here first, guys. If you are watching and you know either yourself or any of your family members that are wanting to learn te reo Māori, um, you know that we have it here at the Manuka Institute of Technology. If you don't know where our marae is or where our classrooms will be for um, this particular program, we are based at Gate 11 um, on. Um, I'm assuming that's Otara Road, right? Yes, I'm here at um, in Otara North Campus. Um, again, thank you, Hone, for joining us. Thank you to all those who are watching with us today. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, and all, as always, if you want to talk to me and Stevie, feel free to give us an email on experience at manuko.ac.nz and we'll be happy to answer any further questions from there. Other than that, have a good day. Thanks, everyone. MIT, where the best makers are made. <laughs>